So there are different kinds of biomarkers that have been tested. Physiologic markers like pulse wave velocity. And then there are markers of sort of activity that work very well in the elderly population, like how far you can walk in six minutes. And then there are factors in your blood. So if you're 36, but in reality you're 45 biologically, that means you're not aging very well. There are many things to do you can do to reverse aging, whether it be interventions, supplements, uh, therapies. We will do a very comprehensive blood test to get an idea of the nutrition. And then we'll look at different ways to see where you're doing wrong. For example, if you're eating wrongly. In my personalized meal plan, I am being asked to get most of my calories from fat rather than carbohydrates or proteins and I'm only allowed to eat in an 8-hour window in the day. The rest of the day, I fast. Studies have shown that fasting helps stem cells regenerate. And stem cells are the raw materials from which all our other cells are made to repair or replace damaged cells in our bodies. In the past, we can only harvest whatever that is available in the body. Mm -hmm. Now it's different. We can actually grow the stem cells in the laboratory. There is a known example where this patient has cancer in the trachea. If they remove it, the patient cannot breathe anymore. They actually uh, grew that part of the airway in the laboratory, remove the, the cancerous part, and we grow it back in. So it's literally like the changing a tire. This break protein uh, is also a well-known uh, tumor suppressor gene, so it causes cancer if you get rid of it. So I got a bit excited, a bit too early for nothing. <laughs> Well, uh, not really. So, for example, if you are dealing with elderly people, they don't have much time to live anymore. You knock out cat sever, the elderly people get to live and enjoy a few more years of life. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Does that mean that, like for myself, map my brain, store it in a computer somewhere, and years down the road, be able to take it and put it into an inorganic body, and I can sort of live again? The answer is no. From the scientific perspective, uh, generating a map is possible. Uh -huh. Right. Whether the map uh, represents uh, your memory, your experiences, uh, that requires validation. It looks like the idea of us escaping the impact of old age on our bodies may not just be a science fiction trope. It seems not to be just a matter of if, but when 